Yeah, here at CBS 2, adventure starts with weather and what bigger adventure than to try to grow grapes in the Treasure Valley. It's a challenge anywhere you try it. Vineyards face numerous challenges when it comes to growing perfect grapes for winemaking. And weather plays a pretty big role in that growing process. For today's adventure, Nate Larson heads to CUNA to get a closer look at exactly how our weather impacts Idaho's wine country from when the grapes start growing until it hits your taste buds. Mike Crowley has been mastering the art of winemaking since 2003. And I got into winemaking because I started collecting it first um, and then I love the science of winemaking because every year the grapes are different. The wines tend to be a little different every year. As weather here in the valley can vary year to year, sometimes it makes it hard just to get to this starting point. The weather plays a big role in the grapes. My goal is to be consistent with the wine styles that I'm making, even though weather and the grapes from year to year vary. The hot summer days are good for growing grapes. It's the transition to colder seasons that have the biggest impact on vineyards. Uh, the most dramatic weather effect is, is too cold of a winter. Uh, if you have an extended cold snap or uh, a, a very extreme low, uh, we're talking, uh, you know, zero and below, uh, then you have winter kill and you basically are regrowing uh, vines from the ground. Uh, the roots do not die, but the, the whole vine above ground dies. Other impacts are late or early frosts in the spring and fall. The spring frosts uh, can, uh, um, you know, as with tomatoes, singe the vines and set them back. Setting back the growth of a block of grapes in the spring or halting their progress with the fall frost both impact the final product. To make progress and you need heat to do so. And uh, once you have a frost in the fall, you know, this progress uh, comes to a halt and uh, you have to just go ahead and pick because the, the sweetness level is not going to increase uh, beyond where it does when it hits the frost. In our early October visit, harvesting was well underway. Most vineyards want to be finished harvesting by mid-October. 